welcome to its traffic here are the here are few questions which are important for your hlc examination these questions may come for three or four marks even it it can come for five marks also so the questions are write a c program to find the summation of one square two square three square and dot 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 n square so this is the answer i am not going to explain you the answers here because i have already explained all the programs in previous videos <coughs> then the next question write a c program to check whether a number is prime or not so this will be the answer i will also share the file in telegram channel there you can download it as pdf file here you will get my telegram channel this is the channel here we already have 367 subscriber and we also have a group this is our group there we have almost uh, 200 members now let's go back to answers again so this is the answer for prime numbers number 3 write a c program to find the summation of the elements summation of a series of numbers using array so this will be the answer <coughs> you can pause the screen and you can see it this same program we can also use for find the even elements find the odd elements for that also for that just we have to write one more line here after the for loop we have to write this line if sum uh, so not sum if arr within square bracket i modulus 2 equal equal 0 then it will add only the even numbers and if we give not equal then it will add only the odd numbers so just you have to add this line if you want to do the same program for finding the summation of odd or even numbers <laughs> now we will go to question number 4 write a c program to declare an integer array with seven elements inside it and display the elements of the array so this is the program this all the programs directly from the exercise because in hlc examination you will not get any program from outside it may be directly from inside your book or from the exercise number 5 write a c program to store your name and your school name in two different strings display them one after another now here see i have used two header files stdio.h that means standard input output and string dot h this is to because i am here using two new functions gets and puts for that i am using this string dot h here we have two variable character name size 20 school size 20 after that by using gets i am taking the input now see as i am using gets function so i am not writing here for loop but if we are using taking the input as scanf by using scanf function then we will have to use loop to take the input as we are using gets so directly we can take the input and we also don't have to write percentage c and these things now number 6 write a program to find the summation of two numbers using function so this is also it uh, directly from the book i think from the function chapter this is the most important question so prepare for this question now question 7 write a c program to define a function square that accept a number as parameter and return the square of the number so this is the program number 8 write a c program to display the following pattern for the this will be the answer in the same program if it is in reverse order this will be the answer so these are 
some few important question which may required for your HLC examination. Now, many of you are asking whether you have to see flowchart or not. I don't think that uh, board will give any hard flowchart to draw in your exam. Still, you can prepare, uh, you can check or practice flowchart which is included in your book page number 122. I will also give a screenshot or photo of the flowchart in the video. There you can check it and from the pointer chapter you no need to see any program there question number four find the outputs are there that one you practice or just you can buy heart because i don't think that that they will change the question you can buy heart the answer also and learn theoretical answers from there like what is a pointer what is a global variable what is malloc what is dynamic memory allocation what are the uses of pointer how many bytes of characters take to store a character pointer how many bytes of storage take to store a integer pointers so this type of questions you can prepare for from the pointer chapters so this much for this video and uh, chapter 10 important questions or short questions this we will discuss in the next video till then stay tuned thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye